Now, the previous video was done on this Sony Watchman from 1984. So 10 years later comes this 1994 Casio model TV600B. This is going to be an early example of an LCD television. Well, I can say we definitely have greatly improved upon LCD in terms of um, its capabilities. I will say its build quality of modern sets have drastically gone downhill. Take a think about it. This is a 22-year-old LCD set. Still works. Can't get that if anything else modern. Even my even modern cell phones I put away die. You know, they have LCD screens. So, <laughs> not going to go ranting about that right now. But anyhow, a little monopole antenna just like the Sony. So, yeah, this is amazing what a 10-year difference is here. About the same size, a little larger on the Sony, and this one actually does have an LCD panel on it. Casio, being as newer than as it is, new as it is, it's made in Malaysia, not China though. You know, and I see people that you know see these and say, "Oh, you can't use them for anything now." <laughs> not in our house. We can still use them just fine. Yep. So let's demonstrate this TV. I'm going to turn it on. UHF. Now that little green bar there, that's how it scans channels. Notice some RCA Thompson sets did it. And even back before they became um, Thompson, they had RCA had a couple sets that scan of that bar on the screen. Even I think even some Sanyos and some other ones. Now let me turn off the flash on this so we'll get a better image here. Now, the one thing you're going to notice right away is how pixelated things are once I get close to it. The phone's kind of... Actually, that... Yeah, the phone's kind of giving off a little bit of interference here. See, look, there's a very, very limited viewing angle here. All right, there we go. That's about as good as it's going to get. But you can see, you can see each pixel. It's very low resolution. And let's see if there's a brightness control on this thing. I take it not. Oh, there they are. So you can adjust the brightness. Like if you turn it all the way up, the backlight, it's pretty much unwatchable. If you look at it from the top, it sort of is dead on. It's like washed out. So we'll turn it down until we get a somewhat viewable image. About right there. So yeah, here's an early example of an LCD set. Still pretty noteworthy. And let's see here. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Take it all off. You've got it. Let's see here. Tuning. You go back the other direction. You select the VHF and UHF bands from the power switch on the side. And I'll just scan the whole thing. And notice, because it's as new as it is, it does not uh, tune past channel 69, unlike the Sony, which can do up to channel 83. And I'll stop on UHF-19. So yeah, I mean, that's a good example. And if you remember, the Sega Game Gear was kind of like this, too, and how it looked. So there you go. Here's what 10 years apart looks like. And I'll finish up the video of this. Thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe.